Hey folks, it's Lord Zorblatt here, and uh, we're going to make a video on da, 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 how to spawn at the camera location. So say you've got this giant world here, and you want to you test something out that's way over here on this hexagon. But when you spawn, you end up over here, and then you have to like jog way over there to get to it. Um, after a while, you start going, why? Well, I'd be more productive if I wasn't always just you know, commuting to get to my part. There is a way. Um, if you hit F, look, look when I hover over the play button. Come on. Don't embarrass me, Roblox. So if you hit F5, apparently, that's the shortcut for play. F6 is the shortcut for play at location. So first, let's get there. Um, so let, let's click over here. You have to option click to click on, on this part here because it's inside a model. Option click, hit F on the keyboard, um, and it, F is like focus or find or something, it gets you there. Um, and now if we hit F6, let's see, do, do, do. So, er, am I doing this all wrong? Yeah, F6 is function. So you hit the function key on a Mac, on a PC, I think it's a function key. Or maybe on a PC you just have an F6 on your keyboard. And hit F6 and you'll notice, do, 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 do. My, my, my project takes a long time to spin up, probably doing something wrong. Um, so here, now I don't have to commute to get to my spawn. Boing, 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 go this way, oh no! Um, spawns right over here. Um, and yeah, so I'll, I'll, see, I'll show you a little bit more about, about this and I'll show you how to hook it up to your mouse too. If you've got extra buttons on your mouse, um, like for me, I just click a button on my mouse to do common commands like stop and stuff like that. Um, so let's let's dig a little deeper. So we'll go into um, studio settings and we'll put this on the correct monitor. Give me a second. Um, boom, boom. So in studio settings, you can see all these cool. Wait, no, it's not in studio settings. I am not remaking this video another time. So let's go to File, Advanced, Customize Shortcuts. And we'll see a lot of the other cool things that you can do that aren't necessarily advertised. Um, and I've got some keyboard shortcuts that expand my windows and stuff like that. If you want to do that, it's a program called, what is it called? Is it this thing? Yeah. It's called Rectangle. It used to be called Spectacle. If you want to automatically put your window somewhere, let, let's make the window on the left half. We'll do command, command caps one. You want that window on the right half? Command caps two. Um, command caps four jumps into a different window. Command caps five is like this. Six is like this. Seven is like that. Um, eight is like that. And so I've got three monitors here, typically, and I, I position everything so it's it's a real efficient workflow because. You know, the, 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 the easier you make your workflow, the more time you spend coding, the less time you spend navigating. All right, so here's a ton of things that you can do automatically with a keyboard shortcut. If you make wedges all the time, record video, cool. Um, so let's search for um, start. So play here, that's the one we're doing. So the shortcut is F6. Um, launch studio in player mode, start remote debugging. A lot of cool stuff here. Dig around. If, if you're using Studio a lot, you want to be efficient. So figure out what Studio can do for you. So F6. So um, that's where I figured it, found out about it. But let's let's go one step further. And probably some of you have these fancy mice that have extra buttons. So we'll do um, run a program called Steer Mouse. This is on a Mac. On a PC, I'm sure there's something similar. This is something that should be built into your Mac, but with the latest updates, a lot of the mouse control things like Biologic Tech, they just don't work anymore. So let's open Steer Mouse and we'll program this mouse to use F6. And we'll program one of our mice. I had some thumb injuries, so I got a couple different ball mice to try to um, switch it up a little bit. So I'm not always using the same thing. So which mouse is this? BT4. Uh, I think we need to add a new one. Expert wireless. Okay, expert wireless. That's the one we want to use. Let's see if there's a picture of it. 
Um, so it's got it's like a four button mouse. So basically, you say, "Ooh, you can do chords on this mouse," which means you press like this one and this one and this one. So I've programmed this mouse so that if I hit the bottom left here, I'll show you which mouse this is. Let me just uh, Google something real quick. Um, um, yeah, Kensington ball mouse. Um, it's this guy here. Um, so basically it's got four buttons um, and yeah, you can do chords where you say, okay, if I push the bottom left button and the upper right button, link that to F5, which is the, the, the play button. Um, so now we want to do something so that if you, let's say, well, I don't want to waste your time actually doing this, but the point is that you can set it up. So if I hit, let's see, bottom left and bottom right, let's do that. So we'll add a new one. We'll say if I hit the bottom left button, bottom left and bottom right button at the same time, let's hook that up to what was the, um, what was the keyboard shortcut to start your player at the camera location? F6, keyboard shortcut. Um, and I think we just do function F6. Hmm, it's not working. It should work. There we go, function F6. Okay. And so basically we're saying if I hit bottom left and bottom right, make that function F6, which is start at um, camera location. Let's see if that works. That, doo -doo -doo. Okay, so let's um, let's use the trick to get over here. Hold on, option, click on this, hit F. We're way over here. Um, actually, that's that's pretty close to spawn, but that's fine. So now I'm gonna click on my mouse the um, lower left and lower right button. Look at that! Look at that! We don't have to commute. So there you go. You know, watch my videos. You know, the title might say they're about one thing, but then I just kind of digress and uh, I talk about other things that are super helpful in my workflow. I do Roblox all the time, so a Roblox studio. Um, I got lots of little tricks to share with you. Um, how to get back up there, I don't know. I just don't understand. Um, help! I have wings. Come on, fly. Where's my jetpack? All right, uh, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If I get a thousand subs, I can monetize this. Um, keep, keep doing what you do.